Hey people, NVIDIA CEO just assembled a new kind of Avengers at CES 2025, where the new Blackwell architecture is the mighty shield NVIDIA is using to defend its place at the top of the tech world. And the hammer? That's the new 50 series RTX GPU smashing expectations with DLSS 4 and a ton of groundbreaking AI features. The launch has made every gamer excited and, on the flip side, left RTX 4090 owners crying in some corner of their rooms. Whether you're a gamer, creator, AI developer, or just here for the memes, you're going to love this. So let's begin. NVIDIA's new GeForce RTX 50 series is built on the cutting-edge Blackwell architecture, marking a significant leap in GPU technology. The flagship RTX 5090 boasts an astounding 92 billion transistors, a substantial increase from the 76 billion in the RTX 4090. It also features a 33% increase in CUDA core count and an upgraded 32 gigabytes DDR7 memory capacity, delivering a memory bandwidth of 1.8 terabytes per second. One of the most striking aspects of the RTX 5090 is its design. Despite the increased power draw, now at 575 watts, NVIDIA has engineered this GPU to fit into a two-slot form factor with just two fans. That's bonkers, especially considering the previous generation's bigger three-slot design. Whether it's practical or not can only be tested once we get our hands on it. RTX 5080, 5070 Ti, and 5070 GPUs showcase notable improvements over their predecessors. Surprisingly, unlike other companies' events where we are used to price bumps, NVIDIA has actually lowered the prices for the 5080, 5070 Ti, and 5070 from previous versions. Coming to the AI magic focused during the event, we have DLSS 4, whose key feature is multi-frame generation, MFG. Compared to one generated frame in DLSS 3, DLSS 4 can create up to three additional frames for every traditionally rendered frame using AI optical flow, thanks to the new Blackwell architecture. This results in performance boosts of up to 8x over traditional rendering methods, enabling smoother gameplay and higher frame rates, even in graphically intensive scenarios. Better yet, 75 games and apps will support DLSS 4 from day one. For gamers seeking ultra-low latency, NVIDIA introduces Reflex 2, featuring frame warp technology. By updating frames based on mouse input just before display, frame warp reduces latency by up to 75%, providing more responsive gameplay. When frame warp shifts the game pixels, small holes in the image are created with a change in camera position. Inpainting predictive rendering algorithm uses camera, color, and depth data from prior frames to inpaint these holes accurately. Coming to performance. Whoa, 2.5x performance. But wait, there's a bit of a catch in NVIDIA's comparisons. They've highlighted frame generation, MFG, specifically for the 50 series, which increases FPS using DLSS 4. This is why you can see more than twice figures for 5090. Without MFG, we're looking at a 1.3x to 1.5x performance improvement. Still great, but not as dramatic as advertised. As shown by Linus Tech Tips, the RTX 5090 in Cyberpunk 2077 achieves nearly twice the frame rates compared to the previous generation, which is mind-blowing. Similarly, here's the performance of other GPUs of RTX 50 series. Now let's talk about the elephant in the room. For the RTX 4090 users clenching their fists. Well, now, with the Blackwell family, RTX 5070. 4090 performance at 549. The comparison of the RTX 5070 with the 4090 may seem shiny, but it's not the full picture. The 5070 comes with exclusive DLSS 4 and MFG features with higher CUDA score, allowing it to achieve equivalent frames with its AI-generated frames. However, as we upscale to 4K gameplay, the story changes. How much can you expect from a 5070 with just 12 gigabytes of VRAM? We don't often realize how important VRAM is when it comes to gaming. Ultimately, the real picture will only emerge once these GPUs are out in the wild. RTX 5090 and 5080 will be available on January 30th, and others will be available starting February. Laptops with GeForce RTX 5090, 5080, and 5070 Ti will be available starting March, and RTX 5070 laptops will be available starting April this year. NVIDIA's latest announcements show a commitment to advancing both hardware and software to deliver unparalleled performance in gaming. Stay tuned for more updates and in-depth analyses as these products hit the market. Also, I did not include software developer-centric AI advancements from the event like NVIDIA Cosmos, Grace Blackwell Platform, NIM Microservices, AI Blueprints, Nematron Tool, and Project Digits. But the next video focused on it is coming soon. I'm a dev who makes bite-sized tech videos for devs. Let me know what you feel about NVIDIA down in the comments or things that you want to see in future. If you are interested in how AI can change our future, I have made another video explaining how Claude's new computer use feature can gain access to use system and like a real assistant do stuff on your PC in real time from online purchasing to creating a spreadsheet. Or how M-Series chips could change gaming industry. Watch it by clicking on the more button. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay informed about the latest in tech innovations.